about the Applied Linguistics Group and its author. Applied Linguistics Group uploaded this video. This group is for helping students of BS, MS, MPhil, and PhD in English Linguistics, Applied Linguistics TEFL, and TESOL. Also, for the students of English Literature. This group also helps TOEFL and ILTS students with video guides. Dr. Khalid Malik is the founder of Applied Linguistics Groups HTTPS colon double forward slash YouTube dot com forward slash at 1966 Pakistani. Dr. Khalid Malik has a PhD in Applied Linguistics to Seoul. He published more than 25 research papers. He taught a lot of foreign universities with vast English teaching experience. Now, at present. He is teaching in a foreign university and also at the same time admitted to a postdoctoral study project in another foreign university on the topic of language variations. Interested students in BS, MS, MPhil, or PhD in English Linguistics, Applied Linguistics, TESOL, ELT, or English Literature students can join his YouTube Applied Linguistics group for a free education guide. Help others easily find Applied Linguistics Group by copying or downloading a QR code. Anyone who scans the QR code will see the group's about page and can ask to join. Interlingual and Intralingual Errors Concept of Error The first step in error analysis, EA, requires the determination of elements. In the sample of learner language which deviate from the TL in some way. 4. This purpose, distinction so be made between error and mistake. According to James, 1998, 77, an error arises only when there was no intention to commit. 1. Errors are systematic, consistent deviance which is characteristic of the learn produced by learner's linguistics system at given stage of learning. Errors are typically produced by learners who do not yet fully command some institutionalized language system, they arise due to the imperfect competence in the target language. Whereas, according to Fausiati, 2009, 139, the mistakes are deviations due to performance factors such as memory limitation, fatigue and emotional strain. They are typically irregular and can be readily corrected by the learners themselves when their attention is drawn to them. B. Interlingual error Interference, language transfer, and cross-linguistic interference are also known as interlingual errors. Corder, 1981, states that these kinds of errors occur when the learner's habits, patterns, systems, or rules interfere or prevent him or her, to some extent, from acquiring the patterns and rules of the second language. Lado, 1964, says interference, negative transfer, is negative influence of the mother tongue, L1, on the performance of the target language, L2. Chelly, 2013, defines that interlingual errors as being the result of language transfer, which is caused by learner's first language. Richard, 1974, 173, states if the learners of a foreign language make mistake in the target language by effect of his mother tongue that is called as interlingual. As stated by Brown, 1980, 160, most of the learner's errors in the second language result primarily from the learner's assumption that the second language Forms are similar to the native language. According to Allen and Corder, 1974, interlingual errors caused of transfer. Error. Touchy, 1986, suggested that interlingual errors caused mainly by mother. Tongue interference. Another researcher is Al Kresh, 2010, he suggested that. Interlingual errors committed by literal translation. 1. Transfer error, error caused by interference from mother tongue. A student who has not known the rules of target language will use the same rules as he obtained in his native language. 
2. Mother tongue interference, errors are produced in the learner's attempt to discover the structure of the target language rather than transferring models of their first language. 3. Literal translation, errors happen because a student translates his first language sentence or idiomatic expression into the target language word by word. See intralingual error. Interference from the student's own language is not the only reason for committing errors. Students may make mistake in the target language, since they do not know the target language very well, they have difficulties in using it. Richard, 1974, 6, states, intralingual interference refers to items produced by learner which reflect not the structure of mother tongue, but generalization based on partial exposure of the target language. Brown, 1980, 162, says that it has been found that the early stages of language learning are characterized by a predominance of interlingual transfer, but once that learner has begun to acquire parts of the new system, more and more Transfer generalization within the target language is manifested. Richard, 1974, 120, classifies the intralingual errors into four categories, including overgeneralization, ignorance of rule restrictions, incomplete application of the rules, and false concept hypothesized or semantic errors. 1. Overgeneralization. It happens when a learner creates a deviant structure on the basis of his experience of other structure in the target language. Littlewood, 1984, cites the example of forming plural by adding s to even irregular plurals, also generalizing the ed past form. 2. Ignorance of rule restrictions, James, 1998, 63, that ignorance is specific in the sense that one is normally said to be ignorant of structure, the learner of the second language does not obey the structure of the target language. In this type of error, the learner fails to observe the restrictions of existing structures. Some rule restriction errors may be accounted for in terms of analogy and may result from the role learning of rules. 3. Incomplete application of the rules. This error may occur when learner fails to apply the rules completely due to the stimulus sentence. 4. False concept hypothesized, learner's faulty understanding of distinctions of target language items leads to false conceptualization. Learner's faulty understanding of distinctions of target language items leads to false concept hypothesized about the Applied Linguistics Group and its author. Applied Linguistics Group uploaded this video. This group is for helping students of BS, MS, MPhil, and PhD in English Linguistics, Applied Linguistics TEFL, and TESOL. Also, for the students of English Literature. This group also helps TOEFL and ILTS students with video guides. Dr. Khalid Malik is the founder of Applied Linguistics Groups HTTPS colon double forward slash youtube.com forward slash at 1966 Pakistani. Dr. Khalid Malik has a PhD in Applied Linguistics to Seoul. He published more than 25 research papers. He taught a lot of foreign universities with vast English teaching experience. Now, at present. He is teaching in a foreign university and also at the same time admitted to a postdoctoral study project in another foreign university on the topic of language variations. Interested students in BS, MS, MPhil, or PhD in English Linguistics, Applied Linguistics, TESOL, ELT, or English Literature students can join his YouTube Applied Linguistics group for a free education guide. Help others easily find Applied Linguistics Group by copying or downloading a QR code. Anyone who scans the QR code will see the group's about page and can ask to join.